Liz is a young youth girl who needs a lot to do the piggery project and other stuff concerning animals. Yeah. So this is my store because I can't lift food each and every single day. Yep. But this is where I live and where I place where I'm coming from. Yep. It's quite far. So I used to lift food but it was hurting my hands. So yep. I had to improvise. So this is your store? Yeah, this is my store where I put the stuff like usual things I used to construct. This is uh the jerrycan? Yeah, this is a drum. You call it a drum here in our bit and the other side is the foods yeah so how many clothes do they take a week a month or... it depends because you can't be exact saying that they take exactly these kilos because there are times when the food goes down like the prices go up yep. so that means you have to lower the kilos you give them so today in the morning we gave them uh, i think i must have given them like six kilos with banana leaves quite plenty and as you've seen the food is still there so Ma, a, a, a moment let me first see whether they are already satisfied yeah they are Pete, do you want more food yes. here right here we have mother pig yeah. <laughs> the stubborn one this one her is this one is a mother with the how many how many are they like five. five of them wow this one has a problem with the ears i think it will be able to fix that wonderful i'm putting the water as you can see it's done so i have to get a man to come and fetch it again oh. yes i'm so grateful for c fact for sponsoring and helping us out you know we are youths we don't make millions and millions the little we get it's what we invest back here so i'm so grateful for cfac for the help it has given me and um, my pig project i started with two right now i have quite a number i started with only two so the two gave me the entire farm i had two breeds like a male and a female they're all from different breeds so the two the male the female then i got the babies now the babies are also become mothers Stop. so my vision is to have quite a bigger farm yes. and as well as to try to inbreed like with the breeds from other countries for example like my veterinary doctor today in the morning came and told me he got a breed from south africa he's an expert so we tend to consult people who know better than us because yep. we're just new to the field yep. so he told me uh if at all i was willing to get money that's like 250 in between 250 to 330 to a add piglet. An, to add the uh, to mix the breed yeah to mix the breed but that's a piglet not a big pig it's yep. a piglet that you're buying at that price that's quite a lot usually our piglets we have here you're selling it at a hundred thousand but to get that nice good breed it's 250 to 350 that's like a jurok and a kambla large kambla yes so from the view when he came to visit the farm after a long while he was like the breed is so good all it needed is to have a different mixture then the pigs will become bigger as you've seen the pregnant ones are very big yes so until when it gives birth that as a mother it decreases but my dream my vision is to have a bigger farm because i want people to come and buy my pigs and they'll be like you know what you have the best breeds so my issue is not to have small breeds like small sized breeds and have big sized breeds and um, they have more money because it makes no sense having to put a lot and you get less. So you have to invest in, once you invest in, the outcome of what you get is always worth it. So if you have the good breeds and you invest in, you get a good output from your what? From your farm. Yes okay so um uh, do you think uh, the community and the surrounding people benefit from your farm obviously because currently um there is a man down there waiting for me he has to come and fetch water as you've seen the water is done yes so he has to fetch water every single week like the water in the drum lasts for like six days 
so he has to fetch every single time. You have to pay him money for the repairs once it comes to repairing in case of any damages or the wood gets eaten by termites or it gets drenched in water. Uh, once you need to construct, a brick has fallen off, all those things. You have to get people who can do it. Yes. Yeah. I'm not an expert in construction. So we'll have to get people who can, you know, do the construction bit for you. Uh, you need drainage, you need to carry something. In case you're selling a pig, usually you're not going to lift it yourself because it tends to be heavy. So you need to pay these guys, come help you, get the pigs from the uh, pig styles, then they put them on the truck and they take them. If someone's buying, that means they'll put it on the easiest means to transport it to their farm. So those guys will do it and do them. Other people who come, you tend to want to sell, but you can't find the buyers easily. So this person will come to you and tell you as long as you give me a commission. So we have to give a commission for the work, like you go hunt for the buyers for you. So you give them the money as a commission to get it for you, a buyer. Wow, thank you Liz for the project. Uh, my name is uh, Craig Joseph, uh, CFACT country coordinator. Uh, I will always check on you to make sure there is a progress, make sure we work with you uh, so as we can uh, as well work together to make youth prosper. Thank you so much CFACT. We are so grateful and we can't wait you know, to become bigger farmers like the rest of the people here so people thank you so much for the thank help. you thank you big up all right <laughs>